What's up guys, welcome to your 85th Android tutorial for the new Boston. What we're going to do in this tutorial is basically, you know, get rid of this uh, garbage right here and set up our application to actually be running properly. So what we're going to do is we're going to, um, again just to, to highlight, uh, we're going to use the tab host, which we gave the ID um, at plus ID tab host. So that's mainly um, the most important one that we're going to refer to as well as the specific layout here within our frame layout we have those ideas as IDs as tab 1 tab 2 and tab 3 so that's kind of an important thing to realize um, or remember what those those references are in Java but let's just get started the first thing we're going to do is create a tab host called tab host um, or th short for tab host and then you import tab host then we say tab host like this as well find view by ID nothing new for the most part I mean it's a tab host so that's a little bit different but an r.id dot uh, tab host so we set that up now now the first thing we want to do is alright the first thing that man I just didn't spell that Correctly at all. First thing we want to do is set up our tab host because again the tab host kind of organizes everything. And once we say th, which is the tab host that we set up here, we can use dot setup, and that's just going to basically you know get the initial initialization going on, kind of set up the basics. And now we can actually add our tabs. We can kind of organize it. Um, organize what we want our tab to be, what kind of content we want the tab to have or hold. Again, the content being our layouts, our linear layouts. So all we have to do now is just say, again, our tab host, um, or we're going to refer to the tab specs, which comes from the tab host class. So um, tab specs and um, we're going to call this TS tab specs and we gotta import our tab specs class here and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna say um, our tab specs is equal to our tab host dot new tab uh, new tab spec and basically what this is gonna give it is a string reference or a name a tag of some sort and right now uh, I don't know exactly um, if this has a, a purpose, uh, I think it's just something Android developed for further, um, you know, for uh, for the future. But at the moment, I don't think this tag actually can be referenced of any sort. But um, we do need to set it up still. So we're gonna set this tag spec up to our tag host, and then give it a tag. So. Now what we want to do is set up our spec and kind of define what we want our, our specific uh, tab to be, what we want it to do, and what we want it to hold. So um, first we're going to say our uh, TS. Let's change this to just so it's a little specs. We're going to change that to specs just so it's a little bit more descriptive there. So we're going to say specs and then we can say dot set content as you can see here again the content referring to our our linear layout so we're gonna say r dot id dot tab one again that's the linear layout that we set up in in the java here or in the xml here uh, and that's gonna hold our two buttons in our text view so that's what that's referring to and then we also want to say um, basically give it a, the tab a a name of some sort so we're gonna say specs dot set indicator and basically that's the tabs name is the indicator and then we're gonna call this first one stopwatch and that's gonna appear on our actual um, on our actual tab and then the last thing that we have to do is we just gotta say our tab host then we just say add tab and it takes a tab spec within its parameters 
So we're going to give it um, our spec that we just set up. So specs. So there we go. Um, we set up one, sp one tab so far that has a tag, uh, the content, and what we want the tab to actually include. Now all we're going to do is just kind of copy and paste um, this whole, whole thing again. So just copy, paste. We don't need to redefine our tab here or a spec. So what we're going to do now is just kind of define our second tab as well. So we can say tag, tag 2 for the new kind of tag. And then for our content of the second tag, we want it to be our tab, or I'm sorry, tab, tag, and tab. All right, I got it now. So we want our content to be our second tab or our linear layout that's number two. And for that, we're just going to say tab two, something like that. And then again, all we do, since we kind of redefined what spec is here, we're just going to add that new tab as well. And then let's just paste it one more time, get rid of the specs here for a third tag, for a third tab uh, with the, the name tag three and with the content tab three. And we're just going to say um, add a tab. No, we aren't. Yeah, we are. Add a tab. The next tutorial might not be that awesome, but that's what our third one is going to be and now just quickly um, we save it um, so again you kind of define the specs and then you from the tab host you add the specs to your startup or your on create method and then the only other thing we're going to do real quickly I'm going to copy a button from our first class or from our first linear layout and paste it within our third linear layout instead of this text view And we're going to change this to um, button add tab. And we're just going to save it. And I'll catch you guys in the next tutorial. Um, well, actually, let's run it real quick, make sure everything works. open our tabs and we have our three tabs so the first one we have our start and stop second one we have our text view and our third one we have that add a tab button so there we go um, everything looks pretty good so hopefully you guys enjoyed that and I'll catch you in the next tutorial um, have a good one